Hi everybody, it's Devin here at Predatory Plants. Doing a species spotlight today on one of my favorite Nepenthes species, the very weird Nepenthes glandulifera. This is a fairly recently described species that was discovered by Chen Li in the uh, Hose Mountains in Sarawak. The story I've heard is that uh, he spotted a weird looking plant up on a cliff and then just climbed the cliff in the middle of the jungle with no gear to uh, collect seed and an herbarium specimen and, and, uh, and prepare a description and all that. That sounds really scary, but I'm glad that he did it because it's unlike anything else in the genus. When the plant was first described, uh, it was thought that the specimen collected had some sort of disease because it had all these weird spots up and down, some kind of fungus or a parasite or something. But it turns out those are just glands that the, produ the plant produces and it was named after those. I don't know if we know exactly what function they serve, but usually on the penthes, glands serve as kind of a, uh, a nectary that, that serves as insect traps, at least external glands like this. Another uh, defining characteristic of Nepenthes glandulifera is the indumentum, this layer of hairs, these very long fuzzy hairs that's all over the plant. You can see it on the leaf margins and on the tendrils, and you especially see it here on the stem. So this is one of the fuzziest plants in the genus, and its hybrids tend to have some of that. Besides those, the picture is very weird looking. Pretty cool color, it's got this red gradient down to green with good speckling. Really wide pitcher opening with some vague striping on the peristome. In profile, I feel like this looks like a tawny frogmouth, which is a sort of weird looking bird. If you've never seen a tawny frogmouth, look it up because it's very much, uh, it, it's very reminiscent of a Nepenthes glandulifera uh, uh, pitcher. This is the clone from Malaysiana Tropicals, but there's also a few that have been released by Borneo Exotics. We really, really like this plant. It's pretty hardy. It grows in a, a very vigorous in intermediate conditions. As you can see, it doesn't really vine. It has this sort of shrubby, bushy characteristic where the, um, the nodes don't spread out like a true vine. And that's very nice because even though this is a really big plant, it doesn't take up nearly as much space as our big long vining like Nepenthes sanguinea or all that. It's also really pitchery, which is great. And it passes that on to its hybrids as well. Uh, so it's, even though it's a pure species, it's a pretty friendly one, and uh, hopefully it becomes more common. I know a few people got it with uh, the Borneo Exotics releases recently, but it seems to be a little bit less commonly for sale right now. We really like it though. We haven't flowered ours, but we're hoping to soon because the hybrids tend to be very fun and unique. Um, but it's just a great plant, so if you see it for sale uh, and you don't know, ooh, should I get this one, it's really worth it. Uh, nothing else looks like it. It's got a great story with its discovery. And, uh, and I find it extremely charming. Uh, so that is Nepenthes glandulifera, the extremely bizarre species from Sarawak. I hope you've enjoyed this species spotlight. Uh, make sure to comment if you've got questions or if you'd like to see some other species highlighted. Um, otherwise, uh, just subscribe and you'll see more videos like this. Thanks a lot.